Okay, so today we're just um, doing a video on our portable camping solar power kit and these are our 120 watt panels uh, combined they're 120 watts, so 60 watts apiece um, when we bought these we bought them as a as a panel kit and this solar charger here uh, came with the panels but we weren't satisfied with it so we've uh, made it redundant and we've made connections here for each of the two solar panels connecting into a, a separate wiring system um, these panels are 120 watts as I said um, their uh, optimum voltage is 22.5 volts at 6.6 .6 amps so um, they're quite good and they're weighing in about uh, 13 kilos uh, okay, we'll trace this to our battery pack and solar charger. We've, uh, what we've done is we've uh, put in Manderson plug here, and we've put in a, a 10 meter extension cable, um, so that when we're camping we can reach the sun. Uh, this kit came with about four meters, and I didn't think it was enough. So. Uh, And this is our solar charger and battery pack. Um, we've put in the same Anderson plug for the panels to plug into here. Um, this here is our solar charger. Can you see that? Come on, yeah. That's our PV solar charger. We're using a 12 volt. Uh, cigarette lighter socket for our DC load out on that. Um, here we have a separate jump starter, compressor, uh, a light and USB charger that we can charge off this system as well. Um, but this is an individual power supply that we can take out. Um, we use it for blowing up our boat and things like that. Um, here we have a 240 volt uh, Powertech 7 amp charger um, and that we use to top keep the battery topped up um, when it's not light and we're at home. Uh, and this here we've got an Optima yellow top 55 amp hour. Now it's a cold cranking amp 770 amps. And if you move over that side. And for our 240 volt we use a 380 watt pure sine wave power tech inverter. We've got all this on a uh, on off isolation switch and here we've got a permanent, regardless of whether it's on off, uh, uh, 12 volt power socket outlet. Here we've got from our inverter our 240 volt power and at the moment, uh, just for this example, we're running our fridge which is a 70 litre fridge freezer. Uh, there's nothing in there at the moment, we're just doing a test. Excellent.